Hello everyone, and welcome to part 3 of the Alice Mayor Let's Play. Last episode, or part, we did Letty and Rick's story, and today we are going to be tackling Chelsea's story. Remember to like and subscribe, and of course the game information will be in the description below. The voice quality should be a lot better finally. Anyway, without further ado, let's go into part 3. So last time we ended up here back in the little place where all the children are. Now let's go see what's going on with the rabbit. Ah, you made it back. Why are you crying? One world at a time, is it? What a bother. Well, fair enough. You recovered one of them. I'll collect everything you picked up in the world as well. These will soon va vanish at any rate. Alice seems to be hanging on by a thread now. And the torn pages, I'll put toge those to these together. Here you are. Obtain the burgundy notebook. Now then, open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. Alright guys, let's go on to the next- Oh, what's Chester the cat doing here? He came up with all the rules of these worlds, you know. I wouldn't make nothing like that. But just give it time, he says. Make all these dumb rules, he does. Bah! But we just gotta follow him. Cause if we don't, we'll get punished. What? Can a guy talk about what he likes? What will, what you consider normal's gonna be vary from person to person. Boy, you look like a wreck. Don't need to get so worked up about somebody you just met. Doesn't that just sound, wear you out? Oh ho. Or did you forget about all that too? I know everything because I stole them. I'm not giving it back, of course. So tell me, is it really empty inside ya? Is there even the slightest kind of anything? Might, might be, not sure. Let's say, eh, not sure. That so? Well, I'll ask you again later. Praying on high, you don't crack too quick. Hey, it's time. We'll talk later. Well then, that was a little scary. I don't know why you kept asking all these weird questions and talking to us. But let us, let, let us go on to the next place, which is Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea, what is up? You got quite a bit of teddy bears, don't you? What's up? Dot 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 She's the quiet one. Uh, uh, Alice? Ah. Silence. Invite to play, stay silent. Let's invite to play, I guess. Eh, eh, um, okay. Can you open the closet? Oh gosh, not this nonsense again. We're gonna be going into Chelsea's nightmare now. Open. All right. Let's see, we got a teddy bear. A book labeled, labeled Mother Goose. What are little boys made of? What are little boys made of? What are little boys made of? Frogs and snails and puppy dog tails. That's what little boys are made of. What are little girls made of? What are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and all that's nice. That's what little girls are made of. Okay, another little poem slash riddle or whatever. The sky is red. Oh, that's very uh, interesting. Uh, the sky is red. <laughs> Oof. Okay. We've got quite a bit of teddy bears in here. Let's go explore outside the room, shall we? Another room with another random teddy bear. <laughs> Looks like we got some spices. It's locked. All right. Let's go see what's in the other room. Oh, here's Chelsea. <laughs> Speak, I guess. <laughs> uh, Alan! Whoa, you scared me. Uh, um, uh... Do you know where this is? A dream? Okay, okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm not good at talking. But I don't hate it, really. It was scary being alone, but I've calmed down a little. Will you go with me? Okay. You want this? It's just a blank sheet of paper, but okay. Here. Obtain a notebook scrap. And here's when the story starts. A mo my mother has a very weak body. So I do the cooking, washing, and other chores instead of her. My father isn't home much. Sometimes he brings home a wolf or a deer. I want to go to school, but I love mother, so I always stay at home with her. Mother always lies in bed, saying sorry, I'm sorry. And her voice always sounds like it's about to fade away. That's kind of sad. Looks like, sounds like her mother's like very sick or something. Looks like some potions or something, a package, like probably from Amazon maybe. Uh, Amazon Alice Mare edition, I don't know. Let's try, I'll try to exit, right? Let's get out of this joint. It's locked. It won't open? That's weird, what should we do? 
Well, let's use the order of operations or whatever you want to call it. Now let's go back into the first room, right? Oh, now there's this little like Kirby looking thing. Probably not Kirby, but close enough. Good day. I'm really hungry right now. Ooh. If you need medicine, there's someone a room over. But the stomach medicine needs to be fixed first. What was it? The first color goes, the second yellow color yields, and the third color stops. Now here's the riddle right here. The first one goes. That's probably green light. Green for go. The second color yields. Normally on a stoplight, that's yellow. The third color stops. Well, normally that's either a stop sign or a red light. So probably the code is probably green, yellow, red. Using like order of elimination here. Alright. Sounds like that's the code. That's what grandma said. And it, that re it refers to something. But she said it'll explode if, explode if it, you, you mess it up. So I should stay away. You you want to try? Like, let's go help this Kirby creature thing. Medicines in three colors. Here it is. You have to mix the medicines in the order I said before. Will you really do it? If you mess up, it's gonna explode. Do it? Never mind. Let's say never mind. Nah, let's do it. Be be careful. What color will you mix? Well, first is green for go. So green. Which one's next? Yellow for yield. Which one's last? Red for stop. It didn't explode. Phew. That should be okay. This medicine wo should work, I think. Obtain medicine. Let's go give it to the Kirby creature. Uh, oh. Um, we bought me rot medicine. Thanks. Uh, much better. I feel great. Alright, I don't need this, so take it. Obtained another notebook scrap. My grandma in the woods had a job making medicine. When my mother ran out of medicine, I'd go to grandma's house. One day, mother told me to go there like always. Today, she wanted me to give a present too, since she was in debt to her. It's full of bread and wine, but you're not to eat it along the way. Like I always tell you, don't stray from the path, because there are scary wolves. I said I'd do what she said and left the house. While walking through the forest, I found a pretty flower garden. Alright, that's part two of the little story here. Let's try to exit now. Oh, it's unlocked. Alright. Looks like a little farm or something. A little scarecrow. Some wood. Guess we'll keep going. Oh, look, a flower garden. Well, we're outside. But now what? Um, oh. That's right. Before you came, Alan, I saw a teacher. He said not to go anywhere, but I broke my promise. Should we look for him? Well, let's go to Grandma's house. Oh wait, can we pick a few flowers? Alright. Flowers of various colors, let's pick some. Obtain flowers. Thanks, I love the flowers here. To tell the truth, I'm not told to pick them, but it's just a dream, so... Let's get, go to Grandma's house, it's straight ahead from here. Little butterflies and animals. Now we reached a river, apparently. How are we gonna get across though? So there's no bridge or anything. Boat or something. We're on a boat. Yeah, that kind of thing. Huh? No bridge? Wh what now? We can't get to Grandma's. Oh, my head's spinning. It in a jam. Hello, Alice and Alice. Don't stare too hard. It's deadly, you know. Just kidding. Don't freak. So you want to cross the river? I'll take you over. Not even kidding, but it ain't gonna be free. Just a little game. Love them, don't ya? As you can see, I have here a wolf, a sheep, and a cabbage. You wanna row your boat? Use your imagination to get them all to the other shore. Except, there are a couple conditions. One, you can only carry one thing on the boat at the time. Two, if you leave the sheep alone with the cabbage, sheep will eat it. Three, leave the wolf alone with the sheep. Wolf will chow him down. There's a rules. Now, what's the minimum number of times you gotta row across? Talk to me when you got the answer. Get it right, and I'll take you to the other shore. But yep, just like the rules of Alice Worlds, you only get free guesses. Mess up the third one, and it's a dead end, friend. Alrighty, get those gears turning. Well, I'd probably say seven times, but by the way, there is an achievement answer. If you do answer three, you'll get the achievement for being a smarty pants and saying three, one for each time. But I'm pretty 
pretty sure using some math, it's probably seven. So let's try seven, guys. Got it. Tell me your answer. Just a number, please. Anything else? And I'm counting it wrong. Ooh, -hoo, correct you are. All right. On my way. Promise is a promise. Close your eyes. Looks like the other shore. You notice there's a crap scrap of paper in your hand. Obtain an notebook scrap. Don't stray from the path I warned myself. But I was sure Grandma would be glad if I could bring her some flowers too. So I picked a flower or two. Then a man came by and asked if I knew a medicine maker. He must have met gram meant Grandma. I told him I was going there too, so he should come with me. The man smiled and picked me some fla helped me pick flowers. When we held hands and walked to Grandma's house, I don't ha hold hands with Father much, so it was sort of a new sensation. Hmm, interesting. You're spacing out. What's wrong? Uh, it's right here, Grandma's house. Let's go. I wonder if Mother's okay. She's always been sick. But m Grandma says that she'll get better. Someday she won't wake up. She won't talk with me ever again. When I think about that, I cry a lot. Father's all red. It's scary. Alan, is there someone you want to protect? There isn't. Not sure. I'm going to say not sure. Oh, you lost your memories, huh, Alan? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Let's go. It's getting a little cold. I'm kind of scary here. All right. Got a little darker, as you can see. Looks like we're near the medicine maker, a.k.a. Grandma. Let's try entering the house. Huh? It's locked. After we came this far. What now, Alan? Hmm. I guess we'll go back. Oh, there's a little bird. Let's see. Oh, and what do you want? Hmm. The door is locked, huh? That certainly is weird. Seeing as that house doesn't even have a lock. Ha ha ha! Huh, well, there is a way, though. But you see, her squeakiness, me, is currently wanting a flower. Practically, you can't live without it. Bring me one, wouldn't you? What kind of flower is it? My, my, what a tiny, weird voice you have. Ha ha! Ho ho! I'll only say it once, so listen up. When she's red, she's passionate. When she's white, she gives pure XXXX. When she's blue, she's eternally devoted. But when she's yellow, she's deeply jealous. Ah, but one last thing. She's oft very often mistaken for another. But unlike that other flower, she never hurts people, so don't make that mistake. Right off you go. Bring me the wrong one and I'll have to eat you. Okay, I don't want this bird to eat me, but okay. We picked some flowers earlier. There's a bunch here. I'll split them up for you. All right, let's start picking flowers. Ew, that's a scary sound. I think that's all of them. Oh, you brought her? Hurry up then. Her squeakiness declares it. Which one? So hearing that thing earlier, I'm going to try doing carnation. I think that sounds like the right answer. Well, well, you really brought her. So, ah, oh, I'm so glad. Finally, I can eat it. Ah, she ate it. Ho, ho, ho. Very tasty. Truly the best of the best. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Something to open the door. Here you are. Obtain an axe. <laughs> okay. Let's just knock the door down, shall we? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep it. It's too heavy for me. It's kind of forceful, but this should work. You there. Hold on a moment. Take this as well. Only for you. Royalty has no more, no need of it. Obtain a notebook scrap. Here's the next part of the story. We reached Grandma's house, and Grandma waved to welcome me. The man bowed slightly, too. The medicine is in the usual place. I went to get Mother's medicine from the back room. Just then, I heard a loud sound. There. There I saw. I saw a wolf eat Grandma. Then he stuffed a lot of medicine in the bag. Then he noticed me and start walking. started to walk towards me. Oh, this is going a really dark turn now. Wolf eating some grandma. Her, Chelsea's grandma. P please. Alright, let's just chop down her door. Poor woman. Alan, you're pretty amazing. Alright. That does not look like a grandma to me, but... Grandma! No response. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound very good. We got nothing in particular. It smells sweet. Uh-huh. No, we're not leaving. We're eating that again. All right. We got some more spices. We got some hay. Let's try going to the back room here. It looks like this is where all the medicines are kept for uh, Grandma and Mom. Well, here's the world key, guys. 
a key. Take it. We obtained the second of four world keys, guys. Good job, good job, good job. So I guess we didn't find teacher. And things are kind of weird here. It smells bad, too. Hey, do you know how to wake up from this dream? Oh, I see. What the heck is that? Uh-oh. <laughs> what the heck? Did that come from the other room? Uh, I don't want to move. I don't want to move from this spot. Okay, but don't let go. Don't leave me. Please. Alright. Let's go see what they're allowed in the mock just- What the heck happened to Grandma? What in the world? It looks like a dinosaur. Okay, probably a wolf, but close enough. No! You're not Grandma. Wake up, wake up! Right, it's just a dream. I don't want to see it. Not again. I won't do it again. I mean it. Forgive me. Forgive me. Uh, uh tackle, use the axe. Let's tackle. Or, use the axe. <laughs> use the axe. Uh-oh. Father. Red. The color red, I hate it. Stop. I close my eyes, so I can't see. Hold my hand. Obtain a notebook scrap. I can't. Look people in the eye. I'm scared to hold their hand. It makes me remember it. If only I hadn't picked those flowers and hadn't met him. And hadn't held his hand. Lots of blood came out. It smelled really bad. Teacher, I'm still a little scared, but I'm sort of okay. Teacher, I st can v the the e eyes that c er I'm scared. Help me. The words toward the end are too blurred to read. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes part three of many of this Let's Play. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.